Hello everyone, this is Roxas1359, welcome back to Let's Play Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix Plus. Last time, we found the password to the DTD, and we also received our second to last form, Master Form, from King Mickey. Off screen, what I ended up doing was I ended up doing a little bit of cleanup, which is seen inside the cleanup video, and I also leveled up every single form to level 6, as well as leveling up my summons to level 5 now that we had acquired Stitch. Since I leveled him up to level 6, I now have Aerial Dodge. I also ended up acquiring some Air Combo Plus abilities from Master Form. Anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the Circle of Life Keyblade on the Master Form for right now. That is not the permanent Keyblade I put on Master Form. I won't be getting that one for a bit later. And this is generally when I end up deciding, okay, I made a few things off screen and I should probably, you know, equip Donald and Goofy a little bit to make things just a little bit simpler for them. Uh, despite me, you know, completely ignoring one of them. And, alright, looks like I am all set. So, without further ado, let's go back and give Tron that password. Because he's probably looking for it. I'm ready to become one with the second dimension. JPEG Beam, go! I'm sorry, they look like JPEGs so much. Where the heck's Tron? Yeah, see, Goofy's wondering it too. Where the heck is Tron? I mean, all I see is the terminal that's leaking like crazy. At the same time... Goofy, get away from it because... Oh, Goofy. Look what you did. Now it's acting like my laptop. Well, minus the teleporting. I didn't touch nothing. Welcome to the Game Grid. Game Grid? That's right. You've been chosen to play a few games. I like games. Lose and you will be subject to immediate de-resolution. Win? Well... <laughs> no one wins. You're not gonna play your games. You have no choice. Well then, get on with it. So, what is our game? A simple light cycle. Pretty much, it wouldn't be a Tron 1982 without the light cycle. Light cycle controls are pretty easy. You don't have to use the control stick at all. You'll automatically move. L1 and R1 will allow you to turn corners. The circle button allows you to throw your Keyblade. Don't do what I'm doing because the Keyblade is very ineffective against a lot of these Heartless. And the square button will allow you to charge with the X button allowing you to guard. I'll get more into that in a minute. Thank you. All right. It looks like we can escape through there. You know, it's a good thing that apparently Ansem didn't program in those things that block off holes like that. Um, okay, but either way, here we are in the main light cycle circuit right here. Now, for the light cycle circuit, this is actually the only mini game inside of Space Paranoid. You can replay this one. And what you have to do for the requirement in the Jiminy objective for it is you have to kill 30 Heartless. I don't believe that you can get it right now because there is no counter and also because this is story related. You can go back at any time you want in order to do it. I'm going to be saving it for when I do the minigame video, which is going to be not for quite a while, believe me. Either way, I'm going to use this time actually to bio these Heartless that are around here because these are actually a type of Heartless that we're going to be encountering. Albeit, we're going to be encountering the red variation of them. And these are... Magnum Loaders. Magnum Loaders drop Lucid Gems and on the rare occasion drop Bright Gems. Right inside this minigame is one of the only places in which we're going to be encountering these different colors. I think it is possible to encounter the other colored ones outside, but for the most part, I used to just, you know, encounter the red ones. And even then, inside of this episode, we're only actually going to be seeing one of them, which is quite sad because I do like the many colors for them, but oh well. Now, the funny thing about the Magnum Loaders is you can literally just, you know, decide not to 
turn and just go into a wall. The Magnum Loaders will go into the wall too. But we're at the home stretch. Once you're right here, you're at the home stretch and you need to watch out because two of those Heartless that made that hole will be right there and they will fire at you. So use the guard function and there we go. We are done with this light cycle section. I will now promptly ignore it and then actually forget about it until later. <sighs> oh, good thing Tron made it out somehow. Didn't even see him inside there. Uh, I don't understand. Why are you here? We came to give you the password. Why didn't you just transmit the data? Transmit? Hey, are you okay? I'll be alright. Once we access the DTD. Well, that's good to know, but you seem a little bit loopy, so... Goofy, back into my party. Alright, so... Now that we have the password for the DTD, we just need to go and... Input it. But, as always synthesis so i finally decided what i'm going to do with the synthesis i'm actually going to end up just speeding up a lot of the sections for it uh while cutting out some of them because i need to explain a few things in order to get 100 percent in jiminy's journal to get 100 percent in jiminy's journal you're going to have to do three main things the first one is get to a moogle level of nine that's actually a lot easier than it sounds if you make one of every single item inside this game and use, say, an energy, not an energy, well, technically an energy, because then you can save on it. Uh, bright, crystal, gem, shard, or anything, and increase the experience, you'll get there in no time at all, especially for the later levels. Uh, number two, you're going to need to get one of every single item inside the game. There are 60 synthesis items in Final Mix, with 10 being added in. As a result, I will not be getting all of them on my first playthrough, and as a result, I get barred out of the Ultima Keyblade, because that is a requirement in order to get the Ultima Keyblade, is you're going to have to do that. The final thing is pretty simple, make every single item at least once. And the Ultima Keyblade can be one of the harder ones, but in Final Mix, I find that actually some of the newer synthesis items are more difficult. So what are the new synthesis items? Uh, we're going to be seeing those once I do the Absent Silhouette fight, so no worries. But now that we're in the canyon without, you know, everyone sitting around, we have Heartless, including this new one. Meet the Strafer. Strafer Heartless, drop lightning crystals, and on the rare occasion, drop a bright crystal. Farming lightning crystals off them is a lot easier than farming them off the other thing that drops them. But before we continue, uh, we got this puzzle piece right here, and it's going to annoy me unless I get it. Well, I mean, I'm trying with my air dodge level 2, and uh, I still can't get it. Maybe. I have an idea, but first, my idea involves killing these heartless. So just stand still and let me kill you. I need my brain juices to flow. Alright, the only one left. Oh. Nope. Oh. oh, you're hindering my thinking, man. There, now I can think clearly. So, to get this one, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go a little bit out of order. I'm going to use Master Form, and I try to air dodge an attack over there. However, I still have something from when I was getting some of the stuff off screen, and that was the fire ability on my shortcut menu. Fire in Master Form will propel you forward. As a result, if you time it just right and jump at the right angle, you'll actually be able to get a lot of puzzle pieces out of order. That's how... I usually end up getting them because for that puzzle piece in particular, I believe you need either high jump level three as well as air dodge level three, which means you need to get your forms to level seven, or you need the last form that is in the game in order to get it. But since I decided to cheese it, I have it now. And as a result, we have a another piece of the Dawn photo, and we have all of the pieces that are in Space Paranoids right now. So simply just go back down here and because everyone is walking around, it will reset your drive gauge. And I already used some of my magic, so I might as well just go and refill that. So, fill you up. Do, 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 do. There we go. So, now we're done with that. And we should go and, you know, type in that password. Because Tron's looking a little bit bare. And he's kind of useless. So, pretty much where is where we will input the password? Um... Actually, it's a door I ended up trying to go in last episode, but then Sora ended up saying, no, don't go in here. 
But I'd like to point something out. Notice the color scheme of the soldiers. Yep, it's the original Kingdom Hearts 2 and Kingdom Hearts color scheme. The reason for that is they never made a color for the final mix variations of them for Space Paranoids. I think they, I think that was honestly just an oversight when it came to that, but oh well. Either way, I was looking for chests inside here, but then I remembered there are no chests in here, so let's input the password. Let's have Tron do it too, because I'm pretty sure he's the only one here who can type. You know, we're lucky that Tron mysteriously knows how to spell these names. Well, looks like the password was a success. At least I think that was a good shake. Well, Tron seems to be saying it's good shake. Uh, your game's trying to kill me. Security routine, huh? Oh shit, Avast is updating! And here are Avast goons! I should have known Avast would be with the Heartless. That's why I have McAfee! Ah shit, McAfee just turned itself off. Alright, so we have another little game here. What we have to do is we have to kill the strafers that are around here, build up energy, go to the screen, and then hit the pause button on them. So then the Heartless will stop spawning! Uh, we have a time limit for this, so you can't use this to grind. Otherwise, I would totally use this to grind, and I'm pretty sure my audience at this point knows that. I mean, I'm only level 51, and I'm at the halfway point in the game. Yeah, I'm at the halfway point in the game, ladies and gentlemen. And no, that doesn't mean that we're going to have, like, another 50 parts or anything. Actually, a lot of the stuff in the future is going to be only just one episode for a lot of worlds. So, when we're at the halfway point, we're pretty much uh, home free. Just like what we're going to do right now. So... Off button, and for our reward, we get an HP up. I'm as good as new. All my functions have been restored. Oh, boy. Finally, I have full access to the DTD. My takeover of the system is now complete. I might have anticipated such a simple password. What's this? An emergency destruct program for the town. Why would anyone Let's have that? No. Program, you changed the password. There, that should buy us some time. Tron, tell us what's going on. The MCP's loading a hostile program into the I.O. tower. What do we do? We've got to protect the user town. Let's head to the tower. That's all well and good, but why would Ansem have a destruct switch for the town? That seems counterintuitive. Either way, though... With access to the DTD, Tron has now access to all of his old functions, which means he gets his abilities back, including his Reaction Limit Command, which is actually a very potent one. I believe it could also freeze enemies. Of course, I'm not going to be using it until I show off all of them, but let's just turn that off for some odd reason, even though I don't have Tron equipped in my party this entire time. But let's head over to the IO Tower and see if we can stop that hostile program from getting in. 
while killing some Heartless on the way. So, I, I just realized, Strafers give as much experience as soldiers. Strafers, these soldiers of the internet. Oh, they really are a vast goons. All right, and as you can see, we have other Heartless here. We have the Emerald Blues showing up too. They have a more yellow color scheme here. Anyway, open that up and we get a Power Crystal and open this one up and we get an AP up. So let's give it to Sora. There we go. And let's get rid of the news that are on this because that will annoy me. Now, the area I'm going into right here, the Simulation Hangar, this is a place in which you won't be going here until actually your second visit to Space Paranoid. I just wanted to go in here because screw it. Anyway, here's where you're, we're going to be encountering Magnum Loaders right now. And as you can see, they're the red ones, so pretty odd. Ow. Ah! Leave me alone. Thank you. Man, I hate those things. At this point, I'm literally just rolling around because I think that there's chests here, but I am mistakenly misrecalling certain information. So let's go and head over to the IO Tower because, you know, apparently there's a, you know, hostile program being uploaded there. All right, so let's go into here and we'll encounter the third new type of Heartless for Space Paranoids meet the Devastator. And no, it's not a Constructicon, unfortunately. Definitely not a Bayform Constructicon, which is a good thing. Devastators drop Lightning Crystals as well. They also drop Serenity Stones and on the rare occasion, Elixirs. They also received another color variation and the Super Dungeon that can go fuck right off. Ooh, spooky. Uh-oh. Great. Trouble inside and outside. It really is my laptop. Well, we can go outside to see what's going on. And I don't know, I think we may actually be able to uh, check things, but open this up and you get the Gaia Belt. I think actually you can skip the ending for this, but I don't know why you would. And open this one up and you get the map. The reason why I think you can skip it is because I go to the terminal and when I go to the terminal, it gives me access that I can go back to Ansem's lab. And that seems very odd because for Ansem's lab, that would lead us into the, like, second part of the game, so I don't understand why that happened. But, apparently, this hostile program's being uploaded, but it doesn't seem to be inside here. I mean, it has to be around here somewhere, right? Oh boy, and a save screen I forgot to cut out. That's not a good thing. Although, I can probably just say I'm gonna be making sure I cut these out in the future, or just not saving at all, and the reason is, my memory card filled up so much because by the end of this project, I think I had about 30 or 40 different files. And as a result, it's loading up all those files, including the one that I'm using because I am paranoid when it comes to an RPG and will always save in multiple files to, you know, save myself in case something goes wrong, which is a good thing. Always do that whenever you're playing JRPGs. So let's go out and see if we can still find that hostile program that's around here. Norton, is that you? I'm disappointed in you, program. Why do you insist on allying with these selfish users? Because I want to help them. Something written into my code commands me to do what is right. Really? And what command would that be? I can't really say for sure. Friends? They help each other, that's all. Uh-oh, look out! Uh-oh. Looks like Norton's detected that I have other virus software on here. And now it sent its goons to hurt me. Ladies and gentlemen, meet the hostile program. So already you're wondering, wait, this didn't get a color swap. That is actually because the hostile program, despite it looking like a Heartless, and even I thought it was one, 
The hostile program is actually not a heartless. It is actually a data construct. This is the actual program itself for the destruction of the town. It is a living... Uh, I use living in quotes. Big. So, one thing I love about this boss is the more you hit it, the more of its armor comes off. I love dynamic bosses like that. I just always do. But, now let's go and kick its ass. And here I'm thinking, okay, maybe Thunder will do more damage to it. But, of course, I miss. So let's use Fire. And, as always, if you build up the meter high enough, you deposit it in place. Now, I should be able to destroy this, but there are certain tells and certain parts of the boss in which it will stop you from attacking. I think I'm going to be hitting it soon because what ends up happening is the more damage you do, it won't do anything. And I think it's when I do it now. When I go up over there because I think he's in the middle. Yeah, I think I stopped him in the middle of a frame of animation and it resulted in me completely wasting this because that would have pretty much killed him. So as a result, he got no damage from that. And I lost my form and my ability to finish this world inside, you know, Master Form, which is what I wanted to do. Don't worry, I'm going to be finishing a lot of the world in the future in Master Form. And that was inadvertent. But either way, let us just beat the heck out of this thing. Come on. Doot, doot, doot. Doot. Up. Wait, no, don't stop it now. Oh, you idiot. You stopped it in the air. Although I do have to admit, I do like how the hospital program looks. It looks pretty cool. Right, and here's me still thinking, I want to beat it with thunder. All right, and... It didn't home in, so great. Now I don't get to beat it with magic, and I don't get to beat it in master form. This day is not coming up, Roxas. Next you can tell me my laptop's fucked up. Oh wait, it is. But either way, die. And for your reward, you gain another w increase to your drive gauge. Not only that, you gain the ability, if I can find it on my list. I forgot it on my list. Whoops, I didn't write that down. So I probably translated it. I really owe you one. With all my functions up and running, I think I've got a chance of getting system control away from the MCP. Now, I'd better get to work. It's what my user would want. What Ansem would want. Listen, Tron. We didn't get the password from Ansem. We just sort of found it back in the user world by accident. And one more thing Ansem, he was our enemy. I mean, he still is, I guess. Well, actually. He's my enemy, too. What do you mean? Ansem took Encom's original system and customized it for his own use. I was part of the original system, and Ansem modified me, too. So, that makes him my user. But Ansem is also the one who brought back the MCP. The Ansem I first knew wouldn't do that. I'm sorry I didn't tell you. That's okay, but now I really don't get it. I don't understand it either. But I think users like you are going to be the ones who will finally figure it out. You have the ability to take illogical routes and still arrive at the answers you seek. Now go, before the MCP starts acting up again. Don't worry, Tron. All of us can come to those conclusions. It's called bullshitting. And it works in college on essays a lot. So, we are done with Space Paranoids now, so let's get the heck out of here, shall we? Any data you need from the DTD can be accessed directly through my user's terminal. I'll keep a dedicated access channel open for you. I changed the password, so you won't have to worry about the MCP for a while. Access channel? <laughs> I knew you'd ask. It's a very important link between our worlds. It's how we stay connected. You, my friends, are the new password. Wait, did you put spaces in between? Or did you put hey, commas? Tom, take care. You too, and give my best to the users. 
Did you put spaces or commas in between? Or hyphens? Tell me! And for our reward, we get the Photon Debugger Keyblade. This one gives you a Thunder Boost. Pretty helpful. I won't really use it. Well, that's that. Look. Tron, hang in there. So, where do we start? I know. Let's access the DTD. The King's checking the situation in town. He'll be back soon, so don't worry. Hey, look. It's asking for a password. That's easy. It's... Sora! Goofy! That's... to the point. Well... That did it. We're in. I have to go into town. Need to see what that last shake-up did. You're not gonna check out the data? It wasn't exactly easy to get. I'm coming right back. Hey, Sora. Why don't you get started unloading the data and copying it down? It's just a few keystrokes. Easy, right? You're asking the technologically illiterate person to right-click, copy, and paste. I don't think he can do that. <laughs> <laughs>